There's a silent killer out there. It sneaks into your body through your nose and literally eats your brains. And once it's inside, survival is rare, but might be possible. Hey gang, Trace here for D News. Perhaps you've heard of this brain-eating amoeba that's sweeping the news. Three people have died recently in the United States from its munchings, and it's starting to cause a little bit of a stir. But what's the deal? Is it really eating your brains? The short answer is yes, it is actually. This strange amoeba is a single-celled organism called Neglaria fowleri. The amoeba was discovered in 1965 and is about a quarter of the width of a human hair. It normally eats bacteria unless it happens to find its way up your nose. Yeah, up your, up your nose. It lives in warm water, so pools of mud and warm bodies of fresh water, even in aquariums, and it won't get into you any other way but your nose. So you could drink a whole glass of water filled with this creature and not get sick at all. In fact, the Neglaria fowleri is prevalent in most fresh water around the whole country. But of all the people who splash around in fresh water every year, infection rates are actually really low. It has to be the perfect conditions. Since 1962, there have only been 128 cases of the infection, so it's not exactly common. I mean, from 2001 to 2010, only 32 people were infected in the US and most of those were in Texas and Florida. More people got the Black Plague in that time. And although there are many species of Neglaria, only the Fowleri variation will infect humans, i.e. the amoeba doesn't want to eat your tasty brains, they're just so tasty. The reason people are freaking out is because of the 99% mortality rate. It's so high because Neglaria Fowleri doesn't present symptoms until it's already begun feeding on the cells of your brains. Once it gets into your body, it migrates to your brain, cuts open a cell, and starts to suck out the contents like a bowl of ramen. Then it moves on, dividing and multiplying the whole while. When your body tries to attack the invader, the little amoeba forms a cyst over itself, blocking the immune cells, and then escapes. Cunning. Very cunning, Neglaria fowleri. So sure, if you go down and you jump in a crick, you could get infected by Neglaria fowleri, but it's not likely. 80% of the infections have been in males who were diving, water skiing, or performing water sports in which water was forced into the nose. They have been known to come from untreated water in neti pots as well. Neglaria fowleri is not really more prevalent now than it has ever been, although as the climate continues to leave the furnace on, we will probably see more infections further north. If you're worried about getting infected, there's a simple way to go. Nose plugs. Buy them, grab them, place them over your nose, and then bam, your chances of infection are like near zero. No problem. Spicy, spicy brains, safe. There may be cures in the near future. At least three people have survived, usually by a combination of antibiotics and antifungal drugs, and by cooling down the body, literally, so that the amoeba finds it too chilly for its liking. Are you afraid of this brain-eating amoeba, another freshwater disease? Let us know. Tweet at us, leave a comment on this video, find us on Facebook, or circle us up on Google+, Plus if that's where you like to hang out. Thanks for stopping by DNews today. I'm Trace. Keep your brains safe, everybody. See you later.